All right. I am early five whole minutes. So if you are here, join me. Um, let's see if I can go back to the Facebook and get rid of that other one. Because I don't want people to join it and be in the wrong spot. I'm just refreshing, making sure everybody can get in to this class. Make sure you don't think you're in the wrong spot. Hey, five people. Hey, five people. I am working tonight, and so I figured tonight's topic for a six-figure photo booth business um, would be white labeling, because that's what I'm doing tonight. So if you want to join me at the top on Facebook, click join event, and that'll allow you to come in, because I just put the new um, link there. So if you hit join event, that'll allow you to come into the event with me. Um, I'm out in the middle of nowhere, so hopefully the signal is really good. I don't know. Um, put my branding up. Again, this is brought to you by Chit Chat Photo Booth by Coach Sharon, and this is very dark in here. Let me see if I can get some light. How's that? Um, and I'm going to keep it short because I am working off of my Wi-Fi that's actually working inside at the um, venue for the wedding I'm doing tonight. Yep, people get married on a Wednesday. Um, give it two more minutes and I am going to get started. Hey, Madonna. So I'm like trying to look and see who's where. Let me go to my comments. Please leave comments. Um, join me in here if you want to. If you can. All right, I think we're all set up. If you want to join me, come on in, come on in. Two minutes to 7.30, two minutes to 7.30. I'm trying to be good, guys, because I want to be, cause, hey, Madonna, I want to be consistent, you know, because, like, you know, I can't be preaching what I ain't doing. So, all right, I'm going to let you in. Hello, hello. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Happy Wednesday. Happy webinar Wednesday. Yeah, same to you. What you got going on tonight? I just finished my workout, and now I'm sitting here contemplating dinner. <laughs> I wish. I, I did this to myself, signing up for a... Uh, uh, um, white label on a Wednesday, and now I'm regretting wow. it. Oh wow! What time does it start? It started. It's at seven, seven to nine. It's two hours. Um, okay. I think this is a COVID wedding. Um, they got married already, and now they're just having their reception. So, gotcha. Yeah. Um, but I'm I'm white labeling, so you know you don't you don't know nothing when you white label. 
I'm just over here assuming. <laughs> yeah. So let's see. Oh, 730. Well, I'm going to get started because I don't know how long I got on this. I just ran out to the car to do it. And um, my attendant is actually inside running the booth for me. Um, it's not a big wedding. It's a wedding. And it's not big. It's a you know a few people here. Um, but, um, you know, uh, part of, you know, growing your business and getting to six figures is kind of diversifying how you work. And um, white labeling has been very successful for me. Oh, that's what that flash is. I guess they're using the photo booth. I was like, what is that flash that keeps happening? Um, white labeling has been really successful for me. Um, and it also has allowed me to, um, you know, um, stretch, you know, learn different softwares because I had to, because I had to use theirs or learn new, different booths because they've shipped me a booth and I had to use their booth. Um, just different processes. Um, and one of the things that I got today was the contract, my, the contract that the, um, the guy has asked me to use, um, for this event. And I think it's really good because a lot of people don't really understand white label and what that really means. Like, yeah, you work for somebody else, but you are that company. And so they, everybody has their own rules and regulations. Like for me, I just be, you know, I ask you to, you know, show up on time, you know, look professional, don't use your name, don't use your, you know, don't wear your logo, that type of thing. Um, he went a step further, which I thought was really interesting. Um, and it was like, you can't use your name anywhere. Like, so of course you don't talk, talk to the client as if you're your company. Um, and even the way you phrase things, like, don't say, oh, um, I'm here working for somebody else, but I got my own company. I mean, he put that in the contract. Like you cannot say that. Um, he wow. also said, um, don't, um, make relationships with any other vendors, which I thought was interesting. Um, I've never done that. I thought that was interesting. So like, even like with the DJ or the, the caterer or whoever, don't make connections with those people. And I was like, okay, interesting. So I'm put that in my contract. Um, what else did he say? After the event, if you ran into the person, you don't do it. Um, I remember a long time ago, I white labeled and I posted pictures because I'm used to posting on social media while I'm working. And she was like, uh, -uh take that down. Even though I didn't use the image with her name or her design, mm -hmm. I, that I was located there at that time. And she was like, no, they could recognize you or they could, you know, put two and two together that that was you, not me. And I was like, oh, so it's just all those little things that um, I didn't think of, you know, my little small little contract that, yeah, that makes more sense. Um, what else did he say? It was some other, other things that he put in his contract, um, that you couldn't do, but basically there's no way, no way possible that these people should ever know you have a, your own photo booth company and that you are not who they hired. Um, and so it needs to be in writing because sometimes it's just said, you know, um, but they need to sign off on it needs to be a contract. Um, what else did he send me? Different procedures. So like I did a white label and I didn't put in place like my requirements as far as what time you get there, what time you set up, um, all those things. And I kind of just left it in the hands of we do the same thing. So I figure you must know how long it takes you to set up and be ready on time with no technical issues because you do this for a living. No, no, everybody works that way. So I had a white where they showed up 20 minutes before the event, had all these technical issues. This don't work, that don't work, this, that, and the four. And so they ended up starting late. Oh, wow. You know, and then when you're working for somebody else, that looks bad because they don't think you started late. They think I started late. <laughs> so now I know you have to put into those um, contracts. Hey, you need to show up two hours before or you need to show up three hours before. When you get mm -hmm. there, 
to talk to this person. When you get there, take a picture of the, the space, send it to me. When you set up and you do your first test, send that to me, you know? So I've been in contact with my guy today. Just everything I did, I just text, show him everything I'm doing. Um, and I had an issue with my backdrop. The frame is short, so it's like looks wrinkled and stuff. Can you get those wrinkles out? Like just little things to make sure that you look like the work of that person because when the client hired them, they hired them based off of the work they saw on their website or what have you. Cool. Um, mm -hmm. So then also with white labeling, um, you know, people talk about, well, how do you structure the money? You know, uh, for me, um, I've done 80 twenties. I've done, you know, they haven't really gone through the whole contract. So they're asking me, well, Hey, I have a lead or whatever. I want you to white label it. What do you want? Right. And if I can get it, then cool. But if I can't get it, then, you know, are you still willing to work for whatever the price is? Um, you know, I usually ask up front, what's the rate? You know, this one, mm -hmm. I, did, I messed up. Mm -hmm. I usually ask what's the rate. And then I try to get my rate. Um, if I get a little lower, that's okay. If I, if I want to continue the relationship. So somebody that can send me to work, you know, several times a month, I'm going to be more flexible with them with the rate than somebody that, you know, um, just randomly calls me, you know? Um, and then also I look at the type of work that they do. Like if they are like on the same wavelength as me or better, Yes, because I get to learn from them. So like I get contracts that I can use in my business. You know what I mean? So yeah. it, it's almost worth getting paid less because you're growing yourself. Um, it's like certain companies I get to work for that I'm like, wow, I would have never thought to do this. Or, you know, I learned how how to get contracts. So I did a um, dinner last night in Atlanta with... Um, one of our members and we were talking about how did I get corporate and I can say corporate came from me doing white labels like I learned how to get corporate from doing white labels for other companies oh my light went out what is that about hold on okay oh, I think it just automatically goes out okay I was getting scared I was like did my battery die <laughs> I was like we got to get out of here we're in the middle of nowhere <laughs> um, so um i learned how to do like a lot of corporate how corporate um gigs work from working for white labels another good place to find white labels and we talked about this last night was through your manufacturer so um if you have several different types of booths let your manufacturer know what you're doing share your pictures share you know um the types of work um, um, clients that you have so that when they get calls, because they're going to get calls. People look up photo booth and they don't always find a photo booth company. They find a photo booth manufacturer and mm -hmm. they may not, no longer do events. And so they're looking for somebody to send it to. Um, it is really dark. Let me get this light back on. Okay. Better. Um, so they're looking for um, companies to do the work for them. So with a majority of my booths, um, I do get work from every single one of my manufacturers. So that's that's really good. And those usually end up being really nicely paid jobs. <laughs> oh, that's good. Yeah. Um, so somebody said hello, hello, hi, hi. Always a learning experience and education. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Are there any questions on white labeling because i know it's you know it's a question that comes up a lot um in the photo booth network do you have questions about it have you white labeled i've never white labeled i'm actually just getting a better understanding listening to you mm -hmm. so what i gather white labeling all in all is just being able to provide the service without actually giving your business name yeah yeah. That's pretty much the, the sum of it. Okay. Uh -huh. So let's say if a another photo booth company reached out to you and said, hey, I can't work this gig, but can you work for me? Can you white label it? Is there um, 
Do you do that? Do, um, do you do that if a photo booth company asks you that? Is there an additional fee for not being able to like actually say your name? How would you handle that? So that's what I'm doing tonight. So he calls and he's like, hey, you available? Um, I, I got this gig. I can't work it. Um, so, so, I, so another photo booth company called you. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Uh -huh. And so usually I'll say, Hey, what's the rate? Right. And then based on the rate, I'll say, yeah, I can work it or I can't. Um, or if you want to, or if it's a, you know, a relationship, then of course I'm going to, you know, if I can do it, I'll do it. You know, mm -hmm. so with this guy, we've, you know, we we're in the same territory and that's why it's like, we shouldn't look at each other as competition. You need to seek out those that are on your level or higher and make be friends because those are the people that you're going to need to go to when you need somebody to white label. So a lot of times, you know, I wash your back, you wash my back, you know, mm -hmm. um, I trade offs on jobs. Like, Hey, I can't work this one. Let's switch. You do that one. And I do the next one. And then it's a wash, you know? Um, and then you want to look at people that have your same booth, people that use your same software. Cause it's a lot easier um, to work with people like that. You know, like here, like we use the same software. Our booths are different. They're white, but, you know, we use the same software. So it was easy. He just sent me the files. Yeah. And I'm done, you know. Um, and then you also want to work with people that you trust. Okay. So even though you have the contract, you know, they don't technically have to tell you what they did. Oh, one of the other ones was if anybody asks for a referral, you're supposed to get their card. You have to send the information to him, all this stuff. It's, it's, I'm going to, I'm going to put it because I'm, you know, doing this, but I'm going to put what the contract is. I'm going to put it in our group. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to put it in files. I'm going to make a file and put it in the file in chit chat photo booth. So y'all can see it. And I'm, I'm going to label it white label contract between um, photo booth companies. Please do. Cause I would love to learn. I have I one. Um, yeah, I have one. And then what else I do is I create an event sheet and I label like who's doing what, what's the role, you know, who, like everything that I have about the event, you need to give that kind of detail to the person so they don't show up looking like a fool, you know. Um, so as much detail as you can give to that person, I try to put in an event sheet. Um, and so they are not confused when they arrive at an event. Gotcha. Okay. Somebody say hi, everyone. Hello. And you can still join. So at on, if you're on Facebook, it says join event. Just click join event and you can jump in if you want to. The six people that's watching. Um, so to recap, if you just came on, tonight is a Wednesday. And normally I'd be in my house talking to y'all and giving you some good content and sharing my screens and all that. But there we go. My computer said load something. Um <laughs> Um, but, uh, I decided to, uh, work for somebody and do a white label tonight. And I was just explaining that white labels can be very profitable, um, or, you know, add to you getting to your six figures. Um, even though you're not getting the, um, you're not getting the, the acknowledgement from your client or from the event. But it will grow you because you are being able to be placed in a situation that you may not have been able to um, on your own accord. So I've been able to get into different um, event spaces. Um, that's how I learned how to do conferences through white labeling. Um, like I said, this is how I learned how to do a lot of corporate through white labeling. Okay. You, yes. Thank you for providing the white label guide. Yes. So, yeah, I will take his guide. I have one, too, and I'll share that. Um, and then if anybody wants that event sheet I was talking about, I'll put that in there too. I actually got that from white labeling. I actually white labeled for, I don't know if anybody ever heard of pop social. Wow. Pop social is huge. And they sent me this event sheet and I was like, Oh, this is nice. I like this. So I just take it and run. So you just learn so much by, um, being able to white label with different, companies but again you want to do it for companies that are on your level or higher um because that's what's really going to um that's really what's going to elevate you and and get you one you know more experience and two you know add to your your income um so but you don't want to um okay got you you don't want to um 
against it because you definitely want them to use you again. You don't want to get a bad name. This industry is very small. And once somebody knows, you know, you ain't right, then you're going to cut yourself off from getting other work. So you want to make sure that you are always, um, you know, operating in, in a manner um, that you've agreed to do. So, but yeah, anything, any questions? I don't see anybody else. Everybody's like, yes, please share. Hello, hello. Sounds good. Let me see if I can look on Facebook and see if I see anything there. Nope, nope, nope. Okay. We only really had six people tonight. I mean, maybe everybody else is out white labeling. Ah! <laughs> I don't know. No, I think we have three good. I think we have to do for this three good. You know, as the weather gets hotter, too, people are out. I'm new to the photo booth game. Does anyone still do drop off selfie booths? If so, do you have a liability agreement or is it a part of your contract? So um, I don't do a lot of them. Once I explain what a, what a drop off is, most of them want an attendant, um, but I have done drop off booths. I only do it with my digital booth, uh, which has an iPad in it, which I guess would be the most expensive thing to um, get messed up if anything gets messed up. So um, I've heard people taking like a, um, what is, what's not a con, uh, um, deposit, maybe like a $500 deposit or hold their credit card in case there's any damages. But yeah, in my contract, I just, you know, if there's any damages, they're going to be responsible for it. But that's it. You know, if you have insurance, things happen. Um, but I have never had anything happen to my booth or anything like that during a drop off. You know, I just, I have very, um, strict, um, rules in place when I do drop off that we don't do a backdrop. We ha put it up against the wall, you know, like have it up against the wall, like open air type situation, um, where people walk up to the booth and, and do it. Um, and so that, I guess that alleviates somebody pushing it over or trying to move it around or anything like that. Um, how do we get people interested in white labeling? Um, network. Um, I found a lot of them through, um, the different networks, um, photo booth network, um, probably on your group pages where people use the same software. Um, or, you know, a lot of times they'll just say, Hey, is anybody in such and such? and answer it, you know, respond. And when you respond, respond in their messenger and send them sample work, you know, um, and quickly because people are ready to work. So as soon as you see somebody asking, is, is somebody available in your area? Um, and I think, you know, as the weather is breaking, we're going to see a lot more people looking for help this year and next year are going to be crazy, crazy busy. And so you're going to see way more people looking for help. Like already, I don't know about you guys, but April 9th, good Lord, Jesus, the, the calls keep coming. Um, so I've had to turn down a lot of work, um, so just respond. Um, let's see. What else? I've noticed people would rather overwork themselves than given an event away. Well, I mean, once all your booths are out. <laughs> but yes, people are going to um, do what they're capable of. But then there's some stuff you just can't. Um, I had a company call me because they were getting jobs um, sent to them. They were in Chicago. They're in Chicago, but for some reason their SEO screwed up and they were getting leads from Virginia. So they just started sending me all of their leads. So that happens too, where a company is on a whole nother coast or in a whole nother state and um, they start getting leads for some reason through their SEO and they can't work it. So they're looking for a company. And then a lot of times, again, keeping your name, um, you know, top of the list or, you know, you know, by you posting your work and people, you know, saying or being helpful in a group, um, when people are looking for people, they're going to look for referrals. They're going to look for people that um, come highly recommended. Um, do, 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 do. May 21 has been the date everyone is asking for. I bet May 14th, which I can't work because it's my son's graduation, but May 14th has been coming up like these big graduation days. Um Somebody said, I'm free April 9th. Well, it's plenty of work. Are you in the DMV area? Because um, I can send you a couple of leads. Somebody just sent me a lead today. Um, actually, I got two leads today for that date. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then sometimes um, I have to give leads because I'm out of their price range. So, you know, um, 
you know, that that is another way I also give work. Um, but I would definitely pay close attention to the networks. Um, that's where you're going to find white labels. Um, reach out to your manufacturer. Let them, you know, know what you're doing, what kind of work you're doing, what type of events you've been doing. Just build a rapport with your manufacturers of your booths um, because they get they get leads, too. Um, so you definitely want to um, between your software and your um, software and your your booth makers, they get leads. So if you they know who you are and what kind of work you do, I'm in the DMV. Please inbox me and I'll send you those leads um, that I have. Um, I've turned them down, but I you know I'll just send them to you and then you can reach out to them. Maybe they haven't booked anybody, but they just came in the last couple of days. So just inbox me and um, I'll send them to you because I can't see who you are. It just says Facebook user. And I want to say, I know one is a 360. I think one is a 360 and one might be a photo booth. Okay. Um, but anywho, any questions else? Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Good, good, good. Um, like I said, I'm working tonight. I did not plan to work. And then somebody reminded me, they was like, but what about webinar Wednesday? And I was like, oh, I was like, okay, I'm going to have my attendant with me. And then I'll run outside and I'll jump on the call. So um, I did not want to disappoint. And I wanted to come out. I'm in PA with a salsa. Hey, how you doing? Did y'all see that um, Snappick just uh, released the, the new features? Yeah. It's amazing. I cannot wait. I want to go home tonight and pull out my 360. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot wait to play with it. It so, looks so um, good at the photo booth expo, so I'm, I'm down to try it. It, looks yeah, good. it was so much fun. It was so much fun. Oh, uh, you're welcome. I will definitely keep it up. So I said this is going to be like a five-week thing, and then we'll pick up a new topic or something like that. I don't know. Um, but I am exhausted. I went to Atlanta. So like we said, we are working on the retreat. Yay, 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 yay. So I've been in Atlanta since Sunday. Uh, we did find a venue. Uh, we just got to sign the contract and work on our our lead. So we're not calling them speakers, but if you feel like you have something to share and you want to be a topic leader at the retreat in Atlanta, please reach out to me. Um, it seems like a majority of the people that have been responding to my surveys are really more interested in business topics. Um, I think they've gotten the hang of their booths. They've gotten the hang of their software. And a lot of people are looking for business topics. Um, you know, um, how to book, how to strategize, how to, uh, market, how to, um, price all those things, um, SEO, all that kind of stuff. But then also we are going to have, like, we're going to have Jessica Boone is going to be leading touch picks. Um, we're going to have, um, Alan Stewart. He's kind of focusing on the newbie people. Did you, do you have dates? Dates are going to be June 12th, 14th, 13th and 14th. That's a Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Um, on Sunday, um, I don't have an agenda, but it's going to be like evening, all day Monday, and half a day on Tuesday. So those are the dates. June 12th, um, 13th, and 14th. It's boss moves lo lo loading soon. Oh, yep. Mm-hmm. But I am super happy about the um, the venue. Um, they're really nice. It's beautiful. And um, they gave us a lot of space to kind of spread out. And this is a workshop. This is not being lectured to. This is bring your laptops, be ready to work. Let's figure, like, oh, how you do that? Let's get that done. So it's more collaborative. It's networking. It's um it's it's not lecture. You know what I mean? Like we we going to get some work done. Um and then we're going to have some fun too. So, um hopefully a lot of people can make it. Um but we'll have more details. We have a meeting tomorrow and hopefully we get those contracts in and everything like that. So, I'm excited about it. Come on out to Atlanta. I had a great time. It it was so much fun. Um and it's the the venue is like 30 minutes from the airport 
Um, I don't know if you've been to the Brave Stadium there, um, Battery Park area. So it's there. So it's lots of um, evening and just different things to do out there. So we're going to try to make it as fun as possible. Thank you for posting that. But I have to go to work. And I love you all. Will you be teaching any softwares during the retreat? Yes. Um, since 360 is so um, still kind of top of the top of the um, market, um, definitely dive into um, touch picks, snap pick, decent tech. Yep, we'll have expert on all of those um, sharings. Um, last time we had media, media share, media share, media, whatever. Um, Pick Pick Social was involved. So, you know, we'll we'll dive into all of those softwares. Um, if you have not completed the um, survey, I think I put it somewhere. I'll, I'll repost it. Um, please do it so I know what you are interested in learning and share that with the, the team. Um, the website should be up. Today is Wednesday. I was hoping to have the website up by Friday so that you guys can start registering. But um, if it's not up by Friday, it'll be up by this weekend, maybe Sunday. Um, just want to make sure that it looks good. We'll be, okay, got that answer. Okay, is that it? Hey, Jay. Hey, hey. <laughs> That's it for me. That's it for you. Me too. I'm going to hopefully get through this last hour and get on to getting on. I thought I was going to be able to go back home. No, I have a um, site visit tomorrow. Um, the Commanders is doing a big event next weekend, and they need me to do a site visit. So I have not been home all week. It's terrible. But anyway, moving on with life. I will talk to you guys later. And again, everything that I talked about, I will try to get up. I'll probably stay up tonight when I get to my hotel room and I'll put up those um, those um, contracts and stuff um, in a file. So I guess like at the top, it should say file. I'll make a file and put it there. Okay, sounds good. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Bye. Talk to you later.